Hey everybody, and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about a new module, new add-on module that I found, which oh, it's gonna change your graphical game even more than previous ones that I've done on the channel, like FlexPot or um, some of the base uh, graphs that you can make. This one is called JJ Stats Plot, and it is truly amazing. So let's go through this. First, uh, as I always do in my videos, we are using the latest version of 2.0.1 for Mac OS. Windows is still, Windows version is still at 2.0.0. Functionally, they're approximately the same, so not to worry on that one. Let's talk about JJ Stats Plot. So JJ Stats Plot is a great little module. Now to add it to your Jamovi, you gotta go over to modules, as you've probably seen in several other videos, and you go click on that plus sign, and you can go to manage installed or your Jamovi, li Jamovi library. And um, it'll be under available as all of available uh, Jamovi modules are here. And you can see that I've pretty much installed them all to see what they look like and what they do because I love this program so much. Um, and so you're going to want to uh, find it. Oh, there it is. JJ Stats Plot by Sedar Balki or Balchi. A wrapper for GG Stats Plot. Now, GG Stats Plot is phenomenal R package. JJ Stats Plot helps researchers to generate plots in Jamovi based on that package. So I've got it added and I've also um, pulled up the uh, one wrapper data set so it's it's not only the data but it's also the output as you may have seen in some other videos that i've produced for my channel um and i've opened that already so here we have a data set let's open up variables here and we've got id name sex you know some of the the basic stuff um anti x intensity anti y intensity grade level overall time mortality raters all these sorts of things but then of course the wrapper itself has a ton of output already here so histogram you've selected to make a histogram and so here's the histogram of h and it puts in the mean there, and it has the um, in favor of null, all of that. So it's the Bayes factor stuff. Um, it gives you the t-test for males and females because we divided it. And so we have just the regular histogram based on age, not divided by uh, males and females. It looks like there's some differences in that, right? The mean age for males is 47. Mean age for females is 51, right? And so... Where's my correlation matrix? I didn't want to, it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to build it for some reason. We have the matrix here, which is sort of a heat, uh, a heat plot that you can make, which is really cool. You can make it larger. Um, let's see, does, is the scatter plot going to be made? Uh, I don't know if my computer's struggling with making these plots or if I, if there's some uh, missing um, information for it. You can make a dot chart or a uh, dot plot. Uh, comparing T stage with measurements and put them on the percentile. Smoker versus non-smoker. Then we have um, just the full one. Violin to compare, violin comparison. Now this is a messy plot, but you can just remove all of that stuff too, and you can get rid of all of that. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. Don't worry. Um, we have additional violins. Oh, it's amazing. Pie charts, stacked bar charts. I just saw a um, request on another program to have stacked bar charts, so that's amazing. And then variable type based graph here. So I mean, uh, welcome. Oh, this is for a clinical path. Um, I don't have that set up here, so it's not going to show. But in any case, that's how it looks. But let's just open up a new data set and just go through each of these together. All right, so I'm gonna go up to the hamburger menu here on top left. We're gonna open up some data library. So JJ Stats Plot, as I was in, you go to um, uh, where? Where are we? Um, wrapper for GG Stats Plot right here. That's that gives you this, and it tell, it gives you all of the breakdowns for it, which is great. Um, what I want to do is I want to let, yeah, let's just use the Big Five, the Dolan et al. 2009 data set. I think that's fine. So again, it opens this. Now we're not gonna be able to do all of the JJ Stats Plot with only um, we're not gonna can't do a bar chart, for example. But I can open up another data set for that. So JJ Stats Plot here we have all of them. We can do histograms. If we have continuous variables, we can do scatter plots and correlation matrices. For a categorical versus continuous, we can do box violins to com with comparisons for independent samples as well as repeated measures. And then we can also have dot charts. For two categorical variables, we can get bar charts to compare, and we can get bar charts or grouped bar charts, and then we can get pie charts as well. And then you can um, also do graphs and plots for variable type based on graphs and plots. So if you wanna choose what graph and plot you wanna do, then it'll tell you what kinds of variables to use. So let's just do a histogram since we have continuous and continuous, okay? Um, it says, welcome to Clinical Path. This tool will help you generate bar charts. Well, that's, well, bar charts, I guess, is if, or histograms are a form of bar charts, I suppose. This function uses ggplot2 and ggstatsplot. Both of these are amazing. See documentation for these. Please cite Jamovi and the packages as given. So if you use this. So this is what it looks like. We've got various options to change how they look. Let's just use extraversion here. And we can split, but we can't split by any of these. So we can't really do that. Uh-oh. Object specify decimal P is not exported by namespace. Let's just change this, shall we? Because I want to do it. So let's go to len. We'll double click on that. And we're going to change this to integer. Gets rid of the decimal place on this one. Now, I don't recommend doing this just to get plots, of course. But let's see if that was the issue. So we'll open up this again. And then we'll put len over here. 
Nope, wasn't the issue. Namespace IPMSC. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. So I'm going to have to leave this video here because it looks like I have run into an issue with making different charts. Um, if we could try Scatterplot, for example. Ooh, um, yeah, let's try, let's try doing a Scatterplot and see if we get a similar issue. Let's get neuroticism over here and openness over here. Let's, yep, um, something, something's up. So I am going to um, leave this module here with this wrapper. For some reason, there might be some issues either with the data that I'm choosing or um, with the module itself. Uh, I will put a ticket in there for you, but that's, I mean, at least you get a sense of JJ Stats plot. Work in progress. And that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing. Uh, hopefully, I'll have an updated JJ Stats plot retry here in the future after I figure out what might be the issue. In any case, thanks for watching again.